Hello, my name is Tom Tuning. I am a solution architect here at IBM. And today I would like to give you an overview of the IBM Watson Internet of Things platform. First, we will talk about the IoT strategy, and then we'll discuss the four foundational areas. And third, we will talk in detail about the IBM Watson IoT platform. And lastly, we will discuss um, where to go for more information. The entire planet is becoming connected one sensor at a time. As it is, artificial intelligence, proactive intelligence, big data, and predictive analytics are becoming woven into every part of human life. We can look back through history and see an explosion of the number of things that are connected. In 2003, most connections were hardwired computer devices. By 2009, with the invention of the cell phone and tablet, the number of connected devices had exploded to 2.5 billion. Over 100 billion devices will be connected by 2050. But you don't have to go back that far to see big numbers. By 2020, just four years away, there will be 30 billion connected devices. It is truly an exciting time to be in this industry. I'm often asked to defend if IoT is real, anything more than hype. The question itself is interesting. There is a lot of hype out there. But there is hard evidence from organizations spanning all industries that clearly illustrate the benefits and improved client in experience enabled by the Internet of Things. I'll share some examples in a few minutes, but first, let's look at some recent surveys that market data tells us. 75% of companies are exploring IoT, while 30, there, we see a 36% growth in sensing devices. And there's also a large growth in Google search interest. Perhaps the most interesting survey response is that 62% believe that organizations slow to adopt IoT will fall behind the competition. Let's look at the top three ways IoT is changing how businesses operate. First, it unlocks new revenue streams from existing products and services. Think of a connected product. An example might be a washing machine or a TV. How might a customer develop a better user experience when that product is connected? Second, new working practices and processes. Think asset maintenance. Here, you might have an important asset, such as a train, a jet engine, or a crane. Things that need to run 24-7. You can see how streaming health data from the asset could be used to increase that asset's reliability. Lastly, create or change business models. Think insurance industry. An example might be a pay-as-you-drive system where you might adjust the rates based on how much vehicles are used or how they are used. What is driving this explosive growth? One thing is that the barriers to IoT have been broken by significant advances over the last few years. First, there's been a massive increase of machines talking to machines over the past five years. Second, network speeds are increasing. And lastly, and most importantly, cost of sensors, the size of the sensors, and the power consumption of these sensors is decreasing. For example, the power consumption is so low in some sensors that they can operate 100% off the grid. Removing these barriers is part of what is driving the explosive number of connected devices. Here are some examples of the Internet of Things digitizing our world. There is much focus on consumer-oriented IoT examples, such as fitness wearables and connected appliances. These are demonstrating customer and business benefits. Possible enterprise IoT examples are intelligent medical devices, connected vehicles, emergency management. How is that possible? Think about the data, sources, aggregation, correlation, analytics. Think about the cloud with its elastic and secure infrastructure. 
a rapid way to develop apps and enable innovations, business apps, etc. And then think about engagement, mobile, social, even humans as sensors. IoT enabled by data and cloud and engagement. The data, the basis for competitive advantage, an example might be Silverhook, which, well, which I will talk about later in this presentation, has 70 plus sensors driving analytics. And then there's the cloud, the growth engine for business, rapid deployment and development of apps, elastic infrastructure that performs. And engagement, this touches all of us and changes our expectations, fueled by mobile and social. In the Silverhook example, we have a, a team on shore, and then there's the boat, and then there's the spectators, and they all are engaged. I like to think about these as data is the what, the cloud is the how, and engagement is the why. Together, these forces are simultaneously transforming virtually every aspect of our professional and personal lives and driving change and innovation for the enterprise at a pace no one could have ever imagined. Together, they are what's enabling and the adoption and acceleration of IoT. Let's now look at how IBM is breaking down the market. We are looking at four functional areas. Working our way up from the bottom, we start with devices and networks. IBM connects what matters to you with added help from IBM ecosystem partners. We do not create buses, cars, or windmills. We connect these devices and collect data. The platform layer, at the platform layer, we provide a platform where we can build and manage IoT solutions. The platform allows organizations to securely connect and collect data from devices, intelligently transform that data, and then gain insight from huge amounts of or huge volumes of IoT data, and also manage risk and gather insights across your entire IoT landscape. Next, we have applications and solutions that can be applied across industries. For example, asset management, building management, and predictive maintenance. On top of that, we have industry transformation. This layer uses all three of the foundational areas and combines them to create new solutions for evolving new business models. Taking a look at the first category, devices and networks. Here we are looking at all kinds of devices. IBM has created a large, scalable, and secure ecosystem for connecting things together either directly or through gateway. This ecosystem is highly scalable and is driving convergence toward IoT industry standards. The main protocol we use is the MQTT, for example. It is an extremely lightweight publish subscribe messaging transport. We are partnering with makers of devices and networks to enable IoT. On our recipe site, a vendor can quickly create a recipe that allows their device to connect to the platform. Some examples are listed here, such as ARM and Texas Instruments. As I look at the recipe site today, there are currently recipes for 98 different devices from various vendors. Recipe users can easily pick up a tutorial that matches their device. This allows them to prepare the device, connect the device, and then visualize their data as it streams from it in real time. For example, if you connect a sensor that contains a temperature gauge, you can vary the temperature by simply holding the device tightly in your hand. Here we are taking a closer look at the TI sensors. IBM partnered with Texas Instruments to create a quick start recipe for connecting their Simple Link brand of sensor tags. In this recipe, you use your mobile phone as the gateway. You download an app which controls the device, and then the app connects to Bluemix to stream live data into the cloud. It's so easy to use this recipe that one user wrote, OK, this is cool. So I actually ordered the new sensor tag from TI.com. I downloaded the app, pulled the plastic tab, and lo and behold, I was connected to the cloud. Simply awesome. Now let's look at the platform itself. 
we are creating the common components that every IoT device is going to require. The industry specific solutions that are being built will be delivered using this platform. IBM Watson IoT platform enables you to securely connect all types of devices from chips to intelligent appliances and develop and deploy your own custom enterprise scale IoT solutions with ease. The rich analytics and cloud-based connectivity provide you with the insights you need for innovation and transformation. The platform is logically grouped into four functional areas. First, the IBM Watson IoT Platform Connect. This allows you to easily connect devices to your applications and industry solutions, perform device management functions, scale through cloud-based services, and then use rich analytics to gain insight and achieve organizational transformation. Next is IBM Watson IoT Platform Information Management. Intelligently transform and store your IoT data. Ingest data from diverse data sources and platforms, then extract the essential value using rich analytics. IBM Watson IoT Platform Analytics allows you to gain insight from huge volumes of IoT data to make better decision and optimize operations apply real-time analytics to monitor current conditions and respond accordingly. Leverage cognitive analytics with both structured and unstructured data to understand situations, reason through options, and learn as conditions change. IBM Watson IoT Platform Risk Management allows you to manage risk and gather insights across your entire IoT landscape using extensive dashboards and sophisticated alerts. Act on notifications and isolate incidents generated anywhere in your company's environment from a single console. The platform runs on IBM Bluemix. This is where you will run, build, and manage your IoT solutions. You can build entirely in the cloud or create a hybrid environment. Bluemix is very flexible in that regard. Bluemix is extremely scalable due to the fact that it runs on IBM SoftLayer, which has over 40 data centers worldwide. Taking a closer look at Platform Connect, we see that it allows us to connect devices into Bluemix. This function provides a way to securely connect and manage devices. It has a pay-as-you-go pricing structure so that you don't have to start with a huge investment in resources, and it is all powered by IBM's message site technology. There are several ways you can deploy and run this technology. Since it is based on message site, it can be deployed and run in your own data center. However, most customers are opting for a cloud-based solution, either a public or private cloud, or fully managed as a pay-as-you-go service. Now let's talk about analytics for a minute. IoT Analytics strives to answer these pain points. Some of the questions you might have are, what is going on with the things I'm responsible for? I need to monitor a de the device behaviors to understand anything that isn't working as expected in real time. If I have an issue with one of my things, how can I get it fixed faster? Can I avoid problems before they occur? How can I design and build things better? I need insights from devices in the field to adjust designs and manufacturing processes based on actual operating conditions and performance. How can I become smarter? Everything in my world behaves differently under different operating conditions. I need to understand my world so I can determine if, when, and how I might want to change it. Let's take a look at a couple examples of where analytics can be used in the real world. The first example is from a maker. Let's say you are a manufacturer of an appliance and you need to know how it operates in the real world. With analytics, you can integrate data from appliances 
and augment that data with other important data such as location, weather, or repair records. The asset analyst can then use this expanded data to gain insight into performance, usage patterns, and failures. Another example is from the operator point of view. In this example, you operate a remote power plant and you can't afford to have people on site. You can leverage data from these systems to enable condition-based maintenance. This would give you the ability to dispatch a technician to avoid failures and downtime. Let's take a closer look now of how real-time insights works. We're going to start with this chart going through it from the bottom left. One, two, three, four, and five. So feeds from devices from either gateways or devices directly flow into IoT Connect. Once in IoT Connect it is filtered and passed on to IoT Analytics as necessary. There it can be mixed with data from other Bluemix services such as weather. Based on thresholds and KPIs, rules are triggered and actions occur such as emails or SMS alerts. The analytics can even drive work orders into an ERP system such as Maximo, shown here in number five. This chart shows how the platform naturally interacts with existing IBM applications and solutions such as Maximo, Tririga, and Predictive Maintenance and Quality. If you have one of these applications in place, you can extend their capabilities by connecting them to the IoT platform. For example, PMQ or Predictive Maintenance and Quality needs data from devices in order to do its analysis. The IoT platform is a natural fit for providing that real-time data. Building on top of the platform will be a set of industry transformational solutions such as IoT for electronics, IoT for automotive, or IoT for insurance. An example of a new revenue model for insurance is instrumenting leak detection in houses. Leaks drive a large percentage of insurance claims. Instrumented homeowners would receive reduced insurance rates and insurance companies would see a reduced number of claims. In this example, we see how it's a win-win for both the insurance company and the insurance user. Our favorite use case is Silverhook and Virtual Eye. In this example, we built a customer solution for a particular boat. The problem we were solving is that we have a sport boat that can be hard to follow for fans and commentators. It is hard for the race team to know how the boat is performing while it is out on the water in a race. We instrumented this boat with over 70 sensors as well as the driver so we know how they're both doing. This data was sent to the platform where the data was um, presented on a dashboard. So now everyone can see when a key metric is being violated and the race team can take action. All of this was built in a matter of weeks. I can't emphasize this enough. The best way to learn about this platform is to try it out. You are encouraged to go to the links above and try these services for yourself. You can also join in the conversation at, at IBM IoT.